A popular New York chef suddenly dies. His family and friends are still in a state of shock. Nate Rogers brings you the full story from Chelsea. Bill, heavy hearts tonight within the culinary community as well as those fans who greatly adored Chef Carl Ruiz and his creations. This is the ambiance inside the famed chef's newest restaurant, La Cubana in Chelsea. Live music, epic drinks, and signature Cuban cuisine. It's what customers say is synonymous with Ruiz and his brand. A lot of us thought it was, you know, a joke or something. We just couldn't believe it. For him not to be here is really, you know, sad. The 44-year-old died over the weekend reportedly due to a heart attack. After more than 25 years in the food and restaurant industry, Ruiz gained global recognition after multiple appearances on the Food Network and while opening several restaurants around the globe. He brought his passion for his heritage with him. Um, he was an ambassador for Cuba, I think, through you know his culinary skills. And again, he was just like a really warm, gregarious person. Also build many celebrity chefs expressing their sadness on social media following Ruiz's death. On Twitter, famed chef Jet Tula said, quote, you taught us how to enjoy every moment to the fullest and not live wondering what if. And that's why it's shocking, so shocking to me because I literally just came to this place just for like a happy hour with my girls. When you ate at this restaurant, he would come around to your table to greet you and spend time with you. Mm -hmm. Just recently came here for my daughter's uh, birthday two months ago and spent about probably 10, 15 minutes with us. And finally, Bill, according to the restaurant's Instagram page, Ruiz's family will honor his legacy by establishing the Carl Ruiz Scholarship Foundation for aspiring chefs. In New York, I'm Nate Rogers for Chasing News. Thank you, Nate. No matter how often we hear about people as young as Carl Ruiz dying of a heart condition, it makes us stop and wonder, how do we prevent this from happening to ourselves or our loved ones? Joining us now to talk about this important topic is Dr. Eugenia Gianos, who is the Director of Women's Heart Health at New York's Lenox Hill Hospital. Doctor, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? Thank you. So, Doc, you are an expert in helping people prevent cardiovascular episodes like this. What advice do you have? So it's really disheartening when something like this occurs, but brings light to something that is so important and preventable. Heart disease is something that's largely pre preventable and occurring in much younger populations nowadays. Why is that happening? So the key is that this is partly genetic and partly lifestyle. And when you couple the two together, if you're born in a family where most of the people in the family had heart disease at a young age, and then you add to it a very poor lifestyle, it's not surprising that we're seeing rising rates in this country. Is it more about diet or more about exercise? Everything is important. I would say not even just diet, exercise, but psychosocial health, well-being, emotional stability. All of these things are important. What about super healthy people? I had a friend, former U.S. Marine, died of a massive heart attack, 47 years old, running a 5K. He was in the best shape of anybody I knew. I'm glad you asked that because there is a campaign out to recognize early heart disease and bring awareness to the fact that some people are born with a genetic predisposition, either a genetic disorder called familial hypercholesterolemia or an increase in another marker that could be putting it at risk. I know we've heard the medical community kind of push the age for mammograms to prevent false positives and negatives to a, a bit older. Is it something similar here or can someone be tested, let's say in their teens? I would say the earlier you get tested when you have a family history of heart disease, the better you are in the long term. When we recognize a patient as having uh, some degree of heart disease and a genetic predisposition, we can check their siblings, their children. So there is no age that's too early. Doc, thank you. I really appreciate your time tonight. Thank you.